Status check to proceed with terminal count. Atlas systems. Propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems. Propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. LH2. Go. Has gas. Go. Electrical systems. Airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight control. Go. GCQ. Go. Operation support. Go. Com. Go. Umbilicals. Go. ECS. Go. Red line monitor. Go. Quality. Go. Op safety manager. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Vehicle system engineer. Go. Anomaly chief. Go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. You have permission to launch. You must 10, 9, nine. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine ignition. And lift off. Lift off of an Atlas V rocket and Landsat 9. Continuing the legacy of an irreplaceable 50 year record on our ever changing planet. Control system response looks good. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Vehicle has begun the uh, pitch over maneuver. Body rates look good. That pitch over maneuver heading it to the south towards Southern California and down to Mexico. Now passing 40 seconds into flight. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Pump speeds and injector pressures all within expected ranges. There's a shot from our tracker cam above the marine layer. Now 55 seconds into flight. Vehicle is now completing the pitch over maneuver. Body rate responses continue to look good. Three minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. Pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 continue to look good. Look good. Body rate's continuing to look good. And at 1 minute 20 seconds into flight, Atlas is now supersonic, vehicle passing Mach 1. And vehicle is now passing max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. RD-180 performance continues to look good throughout boost phase. Engine's now throttling down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. At 1 minute 50 seconds into flight, vehicle is now 10.7, correction, 13 miles in altitude, 7.9 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,500 miles per hour. Now just under 2 minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. At 2 minutes 18 seconds, the Atlas V vehicle now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. And vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. Body rates indicating a slight adjustment uh, can be expected for this phase of flight. And the reaction control system on the Centaur is now pressurizing to flight levels. System pressure response looks good. Two minutes, 50 seconds into flight. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good throughout boost phase. Body rates remain stable. Now passing three minutes into flight. Approximately one minute remaining now until booster engine cutoff. And now three minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Atlas is 48 miles in altitude, 70 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,600 miles per hour. Pump speeds and injector pressures on RD-180 continue to look good throughout boost phase. And the Atlas V is now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good.
and Centaur has begun boost phase chill down. Now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit in preparation for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage set. And we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10, standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. This first burn of today's mission will last approximately 12 minutes, 11 seconds. RL-10 performance continues to look good in the early part of this first burn. Now passing 4 minutes, 47 seconds into flight. And at 5 minutes into flight, Centaur is now 158 miles in altitude, 297 miles downrange distance, traveling at 9,600 miles per hour. And the Centaur propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control. System response looks good. RL-10 engine performance continues to look good through this first burn. Now 5 minutes 45 seconds into flight. And we are seeing the expected uh, initial firings of the RCS system for loop thermal conditioning and cat bed warming. Body rates remaining very stable throughout this first burn. And RL-10 engine performance continues to look nominal. Now 6 minutes 35 seconds into flight, Centaur is now 246 miles in altitude, 522 miles downrange distance, traveling at 9,800 miles per hour. Centaur is now performing a roll for telemetry optimization as expected. Body rate responses look good. RL-10 engine operating parameters continue to look good throughout this first burn. Now coming up on 7 minutes, 30 seconds into flight. And the initial reaction control system motor firings are continuing as expected, and we are seeing uh, the loop temperatures approaching bottle temperatures as expected. Body rates remaining very stable throughout this burn. RL-10 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Approximately eight minutes now remaining in the burn. And we have received initial indication from the uh, boost phase indicating a nominal booster performance.
Now passing nine minutes into flight, Centaur is now 340 miles in altitude, 897 miles downrange distance, traveling at 10,700 miles per hour. Centaur systems all continue to perform nominally throughout this first burn. Continue to see consistent uh, values on the RL-10 engine operating parameters. Body rates continue to look good. And continue to see some periodic thruster activity as expected. And we have successful separation of the Landsat 9 Observatory.